Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Javaya with Gifting Hands by Javaya. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, welcome. If you are already a part of the Gifted family, welcome back, fam. Welcome back. Y'all, in today's video, we are going to be focusing on holiday gift ideas. Y'all, Christmas is right around the corner. It is one of my favorite holidays. I love seeing the bright lights on people's houses. My kids still believe in Santa Claus, so Santa is definitely coming to town very soon. I got the elves on the shelves. It's, it's, it's crazy around these parts, but I am so excited. I absolutely love it. It just, it just brings a different side of me. I don't know how to explain it. Tis the season, Lord, tis the season, okay? But in today's video, we are going to be making this super cute, oh my goodness, it's so cute, so simple, and so easy to make, yet it is so meaningful. And it is a photo pop-up box like this. Of course, you can't see the pop-up yet because I got to open the box, but it is so cute. I just tied a little bow, you know, to give it a little extra cute package in there. So I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like, so untie the bow and the ribbon and then i have this beautiful image of my best friend tt and her man they are expecting their first child together tt i love you this is another sister of mine okay and this is sublimated with acrylic piece there i just added acrylic to give the box some extra oomph y'all already know and then when you open the box up you pull this out and you are met with all of these beautiful images. How cute is that? Adorable, adorable. You ain't gonna find this in the store, okay? We gonna be making these. And I'm going to show you how in today's video. You do not need a die cutting machine. You can actually make this literally manually with a pair of scissors, a blade, a paper trimmer, some images, a ribbon. You, I'm gonna, we gonna have all of this i'm gonna share all of the supplies that you're going to need in this video down below in the description so make sure you go there and check it out okay if this is something that you are interested in learning how to make please stay tuned if you find any of my content of any value please consider subscribing to my channel giving me a thumbs up share my content with your friends and your family and please i'm begging you Turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Y'all, your comments, your likes, your engagement is really going to help my channel grow and I truly appreciate all of your support. So now without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Here are the products and materials that we're going to be using for today's project. I didn't want the video to be too long, so I went ahead and printed out my images and I scored and cut out my cardstock piece there. But don't worry, I'm going to advise you on what to do so that you can have all of the pieces and pictures that you'll need to complete your project. Today, I'm going to be using this Photo Paper Pro Luster by Canon. I absolutely love this photo paper. It is amazing, the quality that you get with that paper is amazing and look at that do y'all see that i use my canon pixma ip8720 photo printer and these are the results on that luster photo paper amazing amazing highly recommend i love it also i will leave everything i use down below in the description box so make sure you go ahead and check that out as well I created this design in Silhouette Studio and I printed it using my sublimation printer, my Sawgrass SG-1000 and some sublimation mug paper. Now this project is going to have a little bit of sublimation. It's optional because you can customize it using cardstock or whatever you want to use, but I'm going to add a little bit of sublimation to give my box some extra oomph and I'm going to be using this sublimation acrylic you can find this on my website at giftinghandsbyjavaya.com if you want to use dye sublimation and you know create your project similar to how i'm going to be creating mine i also have my measuring tape 
I have my gift box that I purchased from Michaels. You do not have to purchase a pre-made gift box. You can actually create your own gift box. Cricut Design Space have uh, box templates, gift box templates that you can use as well. I have my Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I also have my cardstock scored and cut out. It's long, right? <laughs> And I use the Recollections brand. This is the 65 pound, 24 inch by 12 inch cardstock. And it is the neutrals. Okay, so I got this from Michaels as well. The size of the cardstock is going to be dependent on two factors. How many images you want to use and the size of your gift box. And I'll go over that as well with you all. I have a scoreboard here. My scoreboard is very old. I have a bone folder that comes with it. Or you can use a Cricut styling scoring pen. Um, it's a score pen here. And then I have my paper trimmer. If you're going to be using dye sublimation, of course, you are going to need a heat press or a heating source. I'm going to be using a heat press. I prefer to use heat presses. And um, for your pictures, you're going to need, of course, a printer. I'm using a photo printer. I've used a photo printer. So any printer of your choice will work perfectly fine for your images, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to show you how to get the measurements for our cardstock and where to score. The very first thing that we have to do is get the measurements for the inside of our gift box. Now this gift box here is 3.5 inches, right? So I'm going to open it up, take out the cushion. This is actually a jewelry box, but I call it a gift box too, <laughs> right? And then I'm just going to measure the inside width and the inside height. Take my measuring tape. Of course, I have already done this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll show you. So my width is about 3.42 inches. 3.4 and my height is the same so 3.4 to 3.42 i want this inside to be as covered uh covered as much as possible with minimal white shown i'll show you what i'm talking about in just a few moments so i'm going to do it at 3.42 inches okay so that is the inside measurements for that now that we got the dimensions for the inside of our gift box we can go ahead and get the dimensions for our car stock and where to score our car stock, okay? Now, we know that the inside of our gift box is 3.42 inches by 3.42 inches, okay? I want to use five images. However, we have to add an additional square, an extra box without a picture because that piece is going to be adhered to the bottom of our gift box okay so that extra piece that we're not going to have a picture on is going to be adhered to the bottom of our gift box like this so essentially we got to do some arithmetic here we have to take 3.42 inches times six considering that extra blank square we got the five pictures that we're going to be using, but we need that extra blank square to be adhered to the bottom of our gift box. So we're going to multiply 3.42 inches times six. That's going to give us the width of our cardstock. 20.52 is going to be the width of our cardstock in this case. If you have a different size box, or if you want to use less photos or more photos, for instance, if you want to use eight photos, you will have to multiply 3.42 times nine. Again, we have to consider that extra square that we have to bond or adhere to the bottom of our gift box. If you want to use four pictures, you will multiply 3.42 inches by five. I hope that makes sense. Again, the measurements is going to be dependent on the size of your gift box, the inside of your gift box. If you have a smaller gift box, let's say you have a gift box that measures two inches, you're going to take two times the number of photos plus that one extra 
square okay so in this case my width is 20.52 and my height is 3.42 so i got 3.42 inches by 20.52 inches in width okay now for the scoring i've done this in cricut design space i created a rectangle and i took a square that is 3.42 inches and i scored every you know 3.42 inches okay if you are going to do it the manual way it will be exactly the same process i have a scoreboard here and you will score with your bone folder or whatever you have a scoring pen you will score wherever whichever dimension is of your box so if it's three inches you'll score every three inches so three six nine twelve considering the number of photos you have plus that additional blank box if you have a two inch box it will be the same thing you're going to score at two inches four inches uh, excuse me yeah two four six like that so on and so forth so it's pretty simple. It's just, you gotta do a little bit of math. So again, you are going to score at the dimensions of your box. So every 3.42 inch, that is where I scored, okay? And I added an additional box considering one of the boxes have to lay flat on the gift box, okay? Five images, one plane okay y'all so now it's time to sublimate our acrylic i have a video with me sublimating acrylic so i'm just going to speed past this part what i've done was i removed the protective film that's on the back of the acrylic which is the coated side you don't mirror your image okay i'm going to tape this down as i did and now i'm going to press with the transfer facing down at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds firm pressure. Once this is done sublimating, I'm going to lay it onto a cool surface and I'm going to put a weight on top of it so that the acrylic don't work, okay? There we go. Okay, so now it's time to talk about how I got the dimensions for our pictures, okay? All of this could have been done in Cricut Design Space, but I wanted to manually cut out my pictures. It's a personal preference. I find that manually cutting out the pictures is a little bit faster. The only thing that I have done in Cricut Design Space was cut and score my card stock, okay? That can also be done manually as I previously just showed you. Now, 3.42 inches by 3.42 inches. All I've done was essentially create an inset of the 3.42 inch by 3.42 inch. My pictures are three inches. So it's going to leave a little bit of black border. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this out with my paper trimmer. And then we are going to adhere them to our car stock. Now that we have all of our pictures trimmed and cut out, it's time to create our accordion fold. So let's just move these out the way real quick. And we are just going to fold our score lines. Okay, just like so. Okay, now from here, we are just going to add our images. You want to put it vertically and you want to add your images right in the middle of each square or each score, okay? So this is going to be my first image. So I'm going to turn it this way so I can see better. And I'm just going to literally place it onto my cardstock like that, making sure that it is aligned, excuse me, as uh, centered as possible. And I'm going to be using my Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my picture. A little goes a long way. 
you can use double-sided tape as well i just love beacon three in one and i'm just going to again bond this using my eyes to center if you hear my son i'm so sorry i asked him to be quiet for a little bit but that ain't work okay there we go so then i'm going to go ahead and continue to do the same thing all the way until i get to the fifth picture all right y'all so now that our pictures are adhered to our cardstock all we do is literally fold it in the accordion style so forward back forward back so it looks like this when you open it it's like that okay all right so now we're going to take our gift box open it up and remember we accounted for that blank square this blank square here right this part is going to be glued to the bottom of our gift box so i'm going to go ahead and take my three in one beacon glue i'm going to glue the bottom <coughs> a little bit goes a long way okay now i'm just going to glue it to the bottom of our gift box like so flip it over so we can see all right so this is what it looks like on the inside press that down you see how i didn't want too much of the white box shown the only white that's showing is on the sides but as far as it being shown on the bottom part it's covered with the cardstock okay and then There we go. And when you open it, it looks like that. Okay? So now we're going to glue a little piece of ribbon here and then we're going to work with our acrylic. Okay, y'all. So I got some black ribbon. This is 3 8 inch here by 5 yards. I got it from Hobby Lobby and this is how thin it is. Okay? So I cut about four inches of this ribbon because we're going to curl it up like this and i want the height of this ribbon to be two inches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my three and one glue again and i'm gonna just glue the ends together first so a little bit of glue here curl it over and I'm just going to bond it like this okay then I'm going to take my scissors and give it a nice little clean cut here on the edge like that so we have that going like this and then I'm just going to glue put a little bit of glue right here and then bond it to the back of the first picture okay so take a little bit of glue so a little bit of glue and then I'm just going to lift this up so I can see and use my eyes to find the center. And press down. Just like so. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean off this little glue. I'm going to take a wet wipe and clean that off.
that's what it's looking like guys so they can pull it from the top all right y'all so now on to the acrylic so our acrylic is nice and cooled and um it looks frosted right now because it has a protective cover on it so i'm just going to take a weeding tool and peel back that protective cover nice and carefully and again i have a full tutorial on how to sublimate acrylic it's my previous video that i just made on my youtube channel and this um protective film is very very flush to the acrylic okay it's there but it's kind of tricky to get up so just take your time because you don't want to scratch the actual acrylic okay then i'm going to peel this away like so and here we have our acrylic this is the back and this is the front so in my brain i thought it would be a super cute idea to just have this acrylic piece on top of the box like so right and then when they open it it will have the accordion fold of images so i thought that would be so different and so cute and so unique again you don't have to use acrylic you can use cardstock you can layer your cardstock you can use decorative paper um you know whatever you want to do but i just think this acrylic first of all i'm obsessed with acrylic um so i definitely thought this would be something cute and different so i'm just going to take a few strips of double-sided tape this is 3m tape that i cut into strips and i'm just going to just apply a few pieces around my acrylic Then I'm just going to peel the brown back and away from the double-sided tape. Then I'm just going to align this acrylic up onto the box, to the top of the box. Press down. And there we have our beautiful box all right so let's see how it's gonna look when we open it whoop whoop actually y'all i want to wrap it in some black satin ribbon so i'm just going to make not wrap it but i want to tie a cute little bow so if you were to give this away to someone or even if you're selling it and you want to you know have nice packaging i think wrapping it with a ribbon giving it a bow would be super 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 cute so i'm gonna do that and then we're going to open it up to get some as soon as i get my little bow here going okay so we're gonna pretend that this is a cute little bow it takes me a very long time. I'm very particular on how I want, how I like my bows to be. So we're not gonna spend too much time with me playing around with this uh, bow. All right, so let's pretend that this uh, bow is the way that I want it to be. All right. And now let's go ahead and open this. So woohoo, we got a gift, Aww. All right, let's open it. untie it slide this down look at how adorable that is so cute oh my goodness the cutest diy gift ever anyone can do it it is so cute it is so amazing um this will be perfect for grandparents have the pictures of the kids perfect for our moms for dads for aunties for uncles love 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 how this came out and let me do it one more time 
so beautiful. And look at that. Look at the quality. Beautiful, easy holiday gift idea. Okay, everyone, this concludes our video for today. I absolutely love how this resulted. I'm going to show you one more time in slow motion. This is so beautiful, so easy to make. I think this will make the perfect gift for anyone, your mom, your dad, aunties, uncles, grandparents, um, pictures of the grandkids. If you have a best friend, you can go down memory lanes and add all of your pictures. If you have a child and there are adults now, you can add, you know, pictures of them when they were babies up until their adulthood or if they're a teenager. Something that is really cute and easy to make the perfect gift and novelty gift. They'll keep it forever, right? So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And until our next video, guys, thanks for watching. Later.